Hello fellow homeschool parents, Sonia here again with Bethany Homeschool Academy bringing you another video. Today's video is just a little answer to a question. A lot of parents often have the question, after my child has completed the level K language arts with the good and the beautiful curriculum, where should they be as far as reading level goes? Well, all I have to say is that all depends on your individual child. Every child is different. Every child started off the curriculum at a different level and every child will complete that curriculum at a different level. I have heard parents say that their child is anywhere from reading the level C or level D beginner box sets books all the way to parents saying their children are reading at a seventh grade level. Yes, that blows my mind. But for my child, I do have to say that these are some of the books she was reading when she completed the Good and the Beautiful level KLA. So the first one was more easy for her, but I am still going to show it to you. These are all the Good and the Beautiful um, books from the Good and the Beautiful Library. Okay. Here's an example of what she was reading when we completed the curriculum. Okay. Now, this does include words with ed, ing. It also includes some multisyllabic words, compound words, stuff like that. Um, you're also going to see Some bossy R words in here, A R I R, E R U R, stuff like that. Silent E, I'm not sure if I said that. Okay, compound words. So you're going to see all of that in there. So that was one of the books that she read straight out of Level KLA. Okay, after that, she read this book here. This does have some vowel teams in it. A lot of them, right? Now, as you can see, this has multiple sentences on the majority of the pages, and then other pages have just one sentence. How many sentences up there doesn't really matter to her. She's able to read a page full. So this is one of her most recent books that she read, May's Cake, and this is basically her favorite right now. Here are some of the so-called challenge words in the book. None of them are a challenge to her. So that can show you right there where she's reading. Some people categorize this as a second grade reader. I, I don't really know. I, I don't like to put grade levels on this stuff. Um, but if you're looking for this book in the Good and Beautiful's library, you will find it under 1B. My daughter is also reading some of the books from 2, level 2 as well. But this was just one of her most recent reads. Now she's able to read full page text. And this is a chapter book, a short little chapter book for her that we read recently. Okay, and she is able to read all these words by herself without my help. All right. And that's just where my daughter is. So like I said, every child is going to be different. Uh, everyone starts off at a different level. Everyone ends up at a different level. Some people also have um, different difficulties. So some children might have autism or dyslexia. So those children will end up in their own specific level as well. Everyone is different, okay? And we should try not to keep comparing our kids to each other. That's not a healthy thing for us and especially not healthy for them. So let's try to stop that, okay? Um, if you're looking for any other books that might be similar to this one, I do have one that my daughter has that we got recently is this level two penguin young readers Peter Rabbit 2 bunny trouble so she really did like the movie we went to go see this movie and she wanted the book we went to the store and we were actually able to find it in a reader that she was able to read really cute little illustrations okay and she was able to read this without any problems. Now, when it comes to these books from the store, if you go to a bookstore and you're looking at some of these books and you're looking at levels, okay, this one is a level two, but there are some other books where the level might say level two, but it'll be actually a lot more difficult than the one that you're looking at here. So I've seen different sorts of things going on. All right. So I guess this is guided reading level I. Mm -hmm. 
And that's where she is right now, okay? Um, she just finished kindergarten not too long ago. We haven't even started first grade yet. This is what she's reading. What your child will read will either be above or below this or at the same level. It doesn't really matter, okay? Just do what you can for your child. Um, work with them where they're at and keep going from there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye.